Hello YouTube and today we are going to have a review we are going to review a package that I received from Filestyle so this is a package from Pilestone USA so as you can see it's a box so this is not a product review but a timeline review of USPS to Philippines so I ordered this one last February 5 so that's 205 2020 as you can see there so it's 205 2020 and according to Pilestone it should be delivered in 5 to 20 days so I've waited for it and today is February 28th Friday so I re just received this one today um, in our field post field post field post it's a post office so so let's go over the timeline so I ordered this one 205 2020 once again and then it this is a sunglasses for colorblind so this is very precious to me and tomorrow I'm going to review the product so for now we're going to review the the timeline so so I've waited for I think it, it was delivered from USA uh, last February 6 so that's 6 7 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't have a calendar here. I think that is approximately 50 days. I don't know, but um, I think it's 15 or 13 or whatever. But it did not um, reach the 20 days given by Milestone. So, like, for those who would like to deliver or to send packages to the Philippines using USPS, um, from USPS, it will be delivered to the, to the Philippines through uh, Phil Post. So, it's the post office of the Philippines uh, who will going to deliver. So, I have researched a lot in the internet and I've seen that only the letters letter sized packages will be delivered to your, to your doorstep so for packages like this then you will need to go to the post office so it will not be delivered to your doorstep once again you need to go to the post office to your nearest so I think you only have one post office in your area or near your city so you have to go there because you need to pay for something I forgot what uh... right. so they have given me a receipt for the payment I don't know what's this for but I paid 112 pesos so this is not a tax i think but i think this is for a fee for keeping this one for keeping this one in their offices um safely so i have a little problem here for the box because i think um, custom will going to open the box so to check whether the only package in it is the only thing that you've ordered or the only thing that you've sent and there are no restrictions restricted items inside so going back to the timeline so again it's 205 and then i've waited the the status that you will gonna see on the usps website will only stop on in transit you know, you were gonna stop there in transit. So 
So I think the meaning of that is to be delivered to your destination. However, it did not. And until until today, it is still on in transit. So do not just rely on the tracking number there. Um, do not even rely to EMS or even the field post tracking trace. Um, blah blah blah. You really have to check that in the office, in the field post office. So, and I I still have a problem here in this box. Um, it says here January 14, 2020. So I don't know what this is. I ordered this in um, on February, but uh, I've seen here January 14, 2020. I think this is February 14. So I think Philippines or it reached the Philippines um, post office, the Manila. I think it's Manila. The the main office is in Manila. So I think it reached them. Uh, it reached the the office last February 14, 2020. I think they mistakenly stamped here January 14, 2020. But um, I also have here a stamp for received. I think this is for Bacolod because I'm, I'm in Bacolod. So received, fill post, and the date is February 20 of 20 yes 20 of 2020 so it's Feb 2020 I think um, Phil Post Bacala received the item last February 2020 because I, I've seen that in the on the paper where you need to sign to indicate that you have received the item already and you have to put the date there I don't have any issues with Phil Post so far I think this is the influence of the third day and uh, I appreciate it. The, the man who assisted me is very accommodating. Actually, he did not read all the names. Um, he let me um, find my name on the list, on the paper. And I think it would be much better because do not just rely on people telling you that your name is not there. You really have to see it yourself. So I have, I've taken it and um, I've checked my name. At first, I was dismayed. I think my name is not there but it's in the second page until I, I remember that I ordered this February 5 so I need to scan everything until February 5 to, to see whether my name is there or not so I found my name at the February 2020 um, page uh, February 20 of 2020 um, page so it took us how many days only? I don't have a calendar here, so it's um, February 5 until 20. Yeah, Feb 20. So it did not reach the 20 days, maximum days of delivery that you can see on the USPS. I also forgot the the additional that I paid. I, I paid $19 in Pilestone because there are many issues when this package would reach the Philippines. Um, according to that uh, website, the package sometimes will, are, are getting lost and uh, cannot be traced anymore. So I think that's uh, the, the um, additional payment that I've, I've um, paid that time. So again, um, do not just rely on the truck and trace. You have to, you don't even have to call. You have to go to the post office, to the field post office. I also found a number here, which I don't know. It's SP20 I don't know the code, if this is a code. And also I found this stamped. And I don't know this stamp either. But the most important thing is I received the package and I don't have any issues with it. According to the research I got is um, you have to pay extra. Um, I think it's for the tax if the item reached 10k or more. Or 
um, 10k up. So this item is, did not reach it. It's just uh, 6,000 pesos or 5,000 plus pesos. Us. So I did not reach the 10k. So I did not pay any extra. Just the 112. Um, the the receipt I I showed you. So again, this is the thing that you need to remember. Just wait for it in three to two to three weeks, and then you have to go to your post office and check whether the item is there. So just count the days I've waited and uh, from 5 to February 20 it's business day so Saturday and Sunday is not included and again do not rely on the truck and trace you have to um, check it yourself because the system is not updating unless people are gonna encode something there that they receive the item so this is not um, Shopee or the Zada this is USPS to Philippines so this is the local or post office that we're going to deliver the item but they're not delivering it again you have to go to their office and get the item I think that's it so tomorrow we're going to have a review for the item this is a colorblind glasses and glasses I think you can use it indoor or outdoor so because I need to to be with my friends they want to to see my reactions wearing the wearing the sunglasses so for now it's the timeline for those who are asking about the timeline or if you have questions regarding this um vlog you can um comment it down below and don't forget to subscribe for more job here exclusive video click here to subscribe Thank you so much.